Hey, welcome back. Now let's talk about iron studies. In the previous video, we have talked about iron absorption. You cannot understand iron studies without the previous video, so please go ahead and watch our previous video about iron absorption. Okay, of course we're talking about anemia, tired and pale, pale and tired. Sometimes I have a murmur, sometimes I can get angina. Okay, let's go. First, ferritin. We've said before that ferritin is the storage protein that binds iron. I-N protein. Ferritin, storage protein that binds iron. Okay, maiden worm in the macrophages of the bone marrow, also in the liver. Remember, ferritin is synthesized in greater quantities in cases of inflammation. Why? Due to interleukin-6. What's the function of ferritin? It keeps iron in a bound form, in a non-toxic form, because iron, if left free, will lead to the Fenton reaction, as we've said in the previous video. It's stored where? In the macrophages of the bone marrow. Again, degraded by lysosomes to give us hemosiderin. And hemosiderin is stained blue by the Prussian blue stain. Blue with blue. Okay, ferritin. There is a correlation between ferritin here in the serum and ferritin stored in the macrophages. So, one microgram of ferritin correlates with 8 milligrams of stored iron. Remember that. Ferritin is decreased in iron deficiency. Of course, if I don't have iron, I cannot store iron. Because where does the storage come from? From the iron itself. And it's increased in iron overload diseases such as sideroblastic anemia such as hemochromatosis and also anemia of chronic disease because we'll discuss later that anemia of chronic disease I have iron that I cannot use why it's bound to the ferritin and it's kept in store next we have the serum iron the iron in the plasma okay so the iron in the plasma will be carried on transferring. I cannot lift, leave iron free due to the Fenton reaction. Perfect. So, RBCs, senescent RBCs get destructed, macrophage, iron, iron bound to transferrin. Okay, transferrin carry the iron to the storage ferritin the storage protein so that's the story of iron we have senescent rbcs give us hemoglobin heme and globin and the heme has iron and protoporphyrin iron macrophage iron in the plasma bound to transferrin stored as ferritin serum iron of course is decreasing iron deficiency anemia there is i'm not getting iron so there is no iron in the plasma also in anemia of chronic disease the serum iron is low because as we said anemia of chronic disease i have iron that is stored as ferritin but not available in the plasma in the blood so the serum iron will be low in anemia of chronic disease and we will discuss anemia of chronic disease later also serum iron is increasing iron overload diseases such as hemochromatosis sideroblastic anemia that's fine. What else? Serum total iron binding capacity or TIBC. TIBC is basically the transferrin, the protein that carries iron. Ferrous or ferric, ferric. Okay. Transferrin carries the ferric. Transferrin carries the ferric. Okay. Where does TIBC or transferrin come from? It's synthesized in the liver, of course. Okay, 
the iron on the transfer where does it come from from macrophages in the bone marrow or from the duodenum absorption transferrin carries the iron and this iron will be carried to erythroid precursors to form what rbc's perfect remember there is an inverse relation between ferritin and transferrin whenever ferritin increases transferrin decreases whenever ferritin decreases transferrin will increase please remember that next we have the iron saturation percentage aka transferrin saturation percent saturation is okay how many receptors or how many positions on the transferrin are occupied by iron in other words iron over the transferrin and we have said that transferrin is the same as TIBC so let's say that this transferrin okay has one third of it occupied by iron that will be 33 percent saturated okay if the transferrin has everything like this iron in all locations it will be 100 percent saturation but this is not normal this is not natural normally we have 33 percent only one third of the transferrin is occupied by iron Tra the percent saturations decrease in iron deficiency anemia why because iron is low low in our deficiency anemia okay the percent saturation is increased in case of iron overload why because the iron will be high okay pretty simple okay that's it but there is one more thing it's called the soluble transferrin receptor concentration or STFR so it's main purpose is to differentiate between iron deficiency anemia and anemia of chronic disease the stfr is increased in iron deficiency anemia and normal in anemia of chronic disease think of, think about that as transferrin is or tibc is increased in iron deficiency anemia but tibc is low in anemia of chronic disease however the receptor concentration is normal so just remember stfr is increased in iron deficiency anemia and you'll be fine and i'll see you next video